Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Julian Alvarez card to check out. Um, if you guys want to get his loan card, he's actually available in the moments uh, tab for Ultimate Team. You just have to go to the shop and you can get him for free. You don't have to actually play for any of the moments. Uh, which is a huge W on EA's parts because this card looks pretty cool. Definitely want to try him out for what it is because with this card in game, he is five foot eight, high, high work rates, right footed, four star skills, a five star weak foot. So the high, high work rates is an interesting one because usually with those types of work rates, the only player that has like that really nice proper attacking AI is Kareem Benzema on his high, high for that. I think it was like the winter wild card or something when I tried it out, but Maybe this card has the same thing. We're going to be trying him on the 4-2-3-1 so we can kind of kind of see, um, you know, how he attacks in general. Player traits, he has both of the meta shooting traits with the finesse shot traits and the outside foot shot trait. Flare, playmaker, long shot, taker. Playmaker is a W because this card actually has passing capabilities. So let's say, for instance, you wanted to use this card in the side positions. You could 100% do that because his pace is going to be well formatted for the 99 acceleration, 95 for sprint speed at a high, high work rate with a five star weak foot. So let's say, for instance, you want to play this card in the side positions on that high, high work rates. That would be perfectly fine. It'd be a huge W, to be honest with you, because on the Hunter, you massively increase his shooting capabilities while working with that five star weak foot, while also working with those meta shooting traits. So that's huge, right? Passing on the card also in a fantastic area. That with a five star weak foot, 90 for composure is brilliant. Dribbling we'll be experimenting with because he is five foot eight with an average body type, but some of the dribbling stats are in the high 80s area, and you guys know how dribbling is in this game, so hopefully um, no big problem there. Maybe it, it feels just as responsive as the Correa card on the average. We'll see. Uh, defensive capabilities. The card actually has some defensive capabilities, which is also a little bit of a W if you're using him in the side positions yet again, right? Uh, physicality, he actually has good aggression too, right? He's got 90 aggression with an 88 for stamina. So cards like this are very cool because you can pretty much use them in any of the attacking positions. But I really want to see what that attacking AI is going to be like for this card. Um, so we're going to be trying him out in the 4-2-3-1 instruction, playing him um, in the... Uh, striker position on stay central stay forward and we'll use the rest of the team as is so yeah we'll see we'll see what he's like hopefully he's a beast the best coach i played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play if you can win your can he finish oh i got that on a white timed oh rats oh man unlucky oh Trying to use some left stick to get it on his five star weak foot if I could there. I was close. Very close. Oh man, I thought the, the initial touch would already open up the space for me there. Ooh, imagine if he scored that. Maybe on a timed I would. Oh, too much power on it. Unlucky, unlucky. Oh, couldn't get the green on it. Oh, the finesse would actually worked there. Nice. Oh, good, uh, good pull, uh, goalie pull. His high high work rate is not that big of a nuisance so far, guys. To be honest with you. Nice, good finish. Um, so what I will say about this card so far that I definitely notice a lot on it is the average body type. When it comes to like the dribbling, like you definitely notice it for sure. It's not like a Correa situation where he has it and it just feels super responsive. Oh, I thought I was gonna time that accelerated touch there. Oh, he saves that. I wonder if I do like a tap driven shot if it's if it works there. I don't know. Now with 
Yeah, you can see that his uh, attacking AI on the high high, it's not an issue whatsoever. Like, it's perfectly fine. He moves properly, accelerates into the right areas. Oh, what a finesse shot from a distance too, eh? Wow, that was a beautiful strike. Is it in? It is. Yeah, you can see his attacking AI is perfectly fine. I don't care about that whatsoever on him. Oh, I couldn't get the uh, body fin off there. Good job, boys. Good finish. Beautiful finish. No defensive play there. Nice. On a white timed. Guys, honestly, the card is really nice. Attacking AI is great. The shooting comes off nice. It's literally just the average body type that you have to work with a little bit when it comes to like the left stick and whatnot. Like you have to utilize a lot of L1, R1 dribbling to kind of be able to use it. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Like look at that finish. That's great. See the left stick? Got to work with it a little bit. And it might be. Surely, Sometimes that skill move, it helps you out a little bit. Wonderful vision from Lionel Messi. On a white, he still scores it. Oh, nice try. The angle's a little bit rough for there, not gonna lie. Nice. Well done, Alvarez. Yeah, dude, it, his, like, you see what I'm saying? Like, I pass the ball, he's gone. It, it, it doesn't, his high high, it almost feels like he doesn't even have a high high. Oh, too much power on that. Oh, he saved it, I think. Gave me a defensive play there, and he saved it. Tap shot works, too. Ah. I don't know why. I have a feeling he doesn't know I'm going to do the second one, but... Oh, not on a green, though. The animation choice for the finesse is nice, though. Hey, even on a red time shot, he still scored it. That's nice. Oh, Marcus with a touch. Oh. I got lucky here. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes it, like, disconnects the registration for the rainbow. So I'll take it. Oh, yeah. The, the the movement on the ball, it messes with him. It does mess with him. It's that average body type for sure. It's, it, it, sometimes you got to come off of, like, quickness to really hit that finesse shot consistently, you know? It worked out there. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Alvarez card. So, guys, uh, in regards to how he performs in-game, we gave him the hunter chemistry style right because you wanted to pretty much maximize his pace while turning him into an explosive player now it's always tough to say man because i feel like the explosive accelerates and i've said this for a lot of player players that i've reviewed in the past but explosive players just have that certain attacking ai on a consistent basis for me right especially when they're playing in their original position so 
In this card's case, if you want to play him as a striker or a player in the side positions, for me, that Explosive Accelerate while working with a Hunter chemistry style is really nice because he gets to utilize his pace, his good shooting capabilities while getting into good positions at the right time. Now, the main thing, the main thing that I noticed with this card that was a little off and it was like an obvious one for the most part because some cards you don't notice it at all, uh, Correa, right? But he does feel like he has the average in game, right? So obviously... The card I always compare to is Correa because Correa is one of the very, very few cards in FIFA that has the average body type, has dribbling stats set up the way that it is, but his left stick is nuts in game, right? But he's also five foot seven while being average. There's always like a combination of different things that causes these types of things for these cards. So yeah, his dribbling is not like that. Could you technically keep him on an explosive accelerate and improve his dribbling with an engine chemistry style you can because to be fair the shooting is already in a good area and he's still going to be working with that good attacking ai so ideally if you were to do this it'd be better to use in the cam position since your sprint speed is a little bit lower but it is something that you can work with if you notice that you're not always going through on goal on a consistent basis but like i said the attacking AI on the card on a high high work rate while being explosive on a hunter he got into those positions really, really nicely. The average body type, though, is very noticeable. I do have to say, like, when it comes to the on-the-ball stuff, when it comes to responsive left stick, you notice it. And you also notice it when you are honestly, like, running off the ball, like, just chasing after it. You kind of feel it as well, right? So other than that, other than that on the card, he's pretty solid at doing everything else, right? The shooting comes off nice. Attacking AI is good. Passes is well weighted considering the fact that he has a five-star weak foot with a 90 for composure. I would just say that, you know, if the dribbling does bother you a little bit, you could give him an engine. I just wish that the sprint speed was formatted a little bit differently because if it was like in a 94, 95 area on an engine, it definitely would, would have been really nice to kind of compensate uh, for the dribbling feeling the way that it is, right? But it will help out if you do actually give him this. Uh, but... I do feel like if you were to use this card, just generally speaking, I feel like using him on essentially perfect shooting is going to be the way that most people are gonna be using this card in their teams um, if they do end up packing him. So yeah, like I said earlier, guys, if you guys wanna try out this card, he is available in the Moments store. You just go to the store for Moments, you get him for zero, and then you can try him out in your team. So yeah, like I said earlier, just the left stick, that's the main thing, everything else he's pretty solid at. So. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.